Bill Maher is facing a lot of criticism for a tweet that he sent out after uh, Tim Tebow and his team, uh, the Broncos, right? They uh, <laughs> Nice, Anna, yes, the Denver Broncos. Yes. Uh, they uh, lost the game on Christmas Eve. So after they lost, uh, Bill Maher tweeted, wow, Jesus just fucked Tim Tebow bad. And on Christmas Eve, somewhere in hell, Satan is Tebowing, saying to Hitler, hey, Buffalo's killing them. All right, so uh, people are outraged by this. How could he do this on Christmas Eve? Well, the game was on Christmas Eve, so how could he do it on another day? That was the only day he could do it. And, and by the way, that also makes it funnier that Jesus didn't come through for Tim Tebow on Christmas Eve. Where was he? Well, maybe he was busy giving presents. Oh, no, that's Santa. Anyway, so uh, how could you use a curse word in Jesus and, and Tebow, the two holy things in this country, Jesus and Tebow? Oh, come on, dude, get beyond it, yeah, man. Yeah, people are freaking out. Like, he doesn't believe in your voodoo, okay? So to him, it's, it's like saying, how can he use a curse word and Ganesh or Thor in the same sentence? How could you do it? Well, to him, it's just Thor. Who cares? And so you take offense at it. I, dude, take a chill pill, man. Hey, listen, that's the other thing, right? If you're right, Bill Maher is going to roast in hell forever. He's going to be eternally tortured. Is that not good enough? What are you going to do to him for his tweet that God can't do? And is, by the way, that's the other thing. Is Jesus on Christmas Eve checking Bill Maher's Twitter account? Oh, no, no, he didn't. Did, did Bill just tweet this? Did he just tweet this? Okay, you know what? And if he's really mad, why doesn't he have Tebow uh, win the Super Bowl to make up for it? People are so goddamn silly, man. Yes. Uh, I tweeted a very similar thing. Um, I tweeted, I know Jesus is busy getting ready for his birthday tomorrow, but I can't believe he abandoned Tebow tonight. You know what it is? People love the outrage. They love, especially Christians, they love feeling victimized. They're like, oh my God, you see that? This country is so anti-Christian. There's one comic on one cable channel that wrote something that was something that we didn't like about Jesus. How could, oh, we're persecuted. Am I not on the cross? Just calm down. You're fine. And by the way, uh, this story made me realize that Eric Bowling of Fox News Business is dying for attention. He will do anything to get a little bit of news coverage. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened with this story. So um, Eric Bowling read Bill Maher's tweet, and his response to it is, Bill Maher is disgusting, vile trash. I can't even repeat what he just tweeted about Tebow on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and then read the hashtag. His hashtag was uh, straight to hell, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first of all, this guy is clown of the earth because he does Fox business show, never talks about business. It's always stuff like this. He's the guy that had the atheist on and then was outraged that the guy was an atheist. But that you brought him on. He's an atheist. He's like, what did you say against Jesus? I'm kicking you off. Like, this is his spiel. He's like the Rick Perry of Fox business. Like, oh, I'm holier than you. Look at this. Oh, I'm standing up. For I'm so brave. I stood up for Jesus in a country that's 85% Christian. How bold, very, very bold of you, right? And the second part of it is, you just told him to go to hell. If you really believe that, eternal torture for a wrong tweet? Straight to hell. And, and Bill's the bad guy because he tweeted the wrong thing, but you're a perfectly pleasant guy for wishing eternal damnation on his soul. That's right. How Christian of you.